Burns. Burns in the middle of that. Okay, the rest of you come right here, Brian. You gotta get another color on. You gotta get another color. Wait, do we got? We got socks. Come on, buddy. I mean, I don't think we got enough guys out here. With a spot to fill in his schedule, Mike Butler looked to combine a team-building trip with an opponent that could challenge his Greece Athena Trojans. The fifth-year coach found exactly what he wanted. Well, you know, it, it was the end of the year, and I was thinking, hey, we're going to be good next year, and what uh, would it be fun to take a trip? And I just said to myself, I wonder who the number one team in the nation is, and I Googled it, and there they were, and I found out it had been a really storied program, and they'd been uh, been the number one team 11 times. So it was, uh, you know, I called the guy. He said, hey, let's do it, and so it worked out well. That storied program is St. Benedict's, a prep school in Newark, New Jersey, ranked number one in the preseason polls by Top Drawer Soccer and USA Today High School Sports. The list of players to wear St. Benedict's threads includes former men's national team captain Claudio Reyna, as well as Tab Ramos and Columbus Crew head coach Greg Burhalter. Um, I think most of the team was excited for the most part. Uh, it gives us a good opportunity to go face, if not the best, one of the best teams in the country. So starting off the season on a good note, hopefully. What was your first reaction when you heard what coach had to say about that? Um, I couldn't believe it, to be fair, because I know going down there, they're going to be that high level of qualities. And with the team we got this year, I think, I think it'll be a good game. With school still not in session, Athena left the day before the game to spend the night taking in the sights of New York City. You know, they're excited, I think, for the season in general, and they're really kids that love soccer and they're into it. And, uh, you know, they're, 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 uh, they're, they'll go on YouTube and look the team up and see different things. So I think they're excited just for the trip in general. They know how much fun we're going to have going to New York City and all those things. We're going to have a great time. So regardless of, of what we take away from it, that's, I think, an important part of being uh, on a high school soccer team. The Trojans stayed across the street from the famous Madison Square Garden, enjoyed dinner at Tony DiNapoli's, spent the evening on Times Square. The date of the originally scheduled match saw a statewide heat advisory in New Jersey, which forced the postponement of the contest. The game is being rescheduled for later this month. Trojans now will get a chance to play against their league before taking on St. Benedict's. So win, lose, you know, or draw, whatever happens, we're going to gain some experience from it, and hopefully it'll give us some confidence as we come back and, and look to play other teams. And I, I think it shows is just we know we can do it because we know how good Section 5 soccer is, uh, so we think we'll be fine. Um, well, obviously it came off that coach has a lot of confidence in us this year, and I also do as well because the quality we have is this is one of this is gonna be one of our best years uh, within the last five years, so I'm excited. Like facing the number one team in the nation, it's like a big deal. But we, ha I think we have like the quality to like you know really uh, learn something from that game, and hopefully we take as much as possible away from the game so we could like uh, use it for a season. From Times Square for the Vision High School Sports Beat, this is Paul Gotham.